Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly of lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, jewelry, books, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell. I am so excited today, you guys. I have a new box for this channel, but it goes along with my channel name, which is Hi Noelle. Hi is the abbreviation for the state of Hawaii, which is where I was able to grow up. And it also speaks to my desire to find a monthly sort of beach themed subscription so I have a few that are seasonal that I absolutely love but I'm looking for one or maybe two really good monthly beach subscriptions now when I started my channel Instagram account which is Maui underscore Noel I'll link it below for you you should definitely follow me there as well I started interacting a little bit more with one of those beach subscriptions which is called life's a wave that I've seen several times on different channels especially on un boxy boxes and I've always loved the items that are in there but they don't do a lot of spoilers they do a little bit in their social media it's just a little bit of a pricier box so it actually is $49.95 per month but then it's like another $8 in shipping so obviously then you add tax and it looks like it's about $60 per month which is well over my personal budget I do try to keep my monthly expenses for any subscription whether it's monthly bi-monthly or seasonal to about $30 to $40 but I love this company so far. Like I said, the interactions I've had with them are fantastic. I was able to get a little discount. You should definitely check their social media to find those discounts. And this is the beautiful kind of periwinkle blue box that came in the mail. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So if you haven't seen some of my other beach theme box unboxings, I would suggest looking at that playlist. I will link it above and probably at the end of this video as well. So inside the beautiful blue box, we just have some tissue paper. There is a little sticker that says life's a wave. And I kind of just love that uh, as a name because isn't there, is that not just completely true that life is a wave that's very powerful. There's ups and downs. Sometimes you just have to trust yourself and go with the flow. So then inside there's a, kind of some paperwork here on top, but it looks like I got a nice handwritten note. So let's see what it says. It says, hi, sweet mermaid, Noelle. She calls all of her subscribers mermaids. Your life's a wave box full of ocean, beach, and eco fun has arrived. We are very grateful to have you as a mermaid sister on this exciting journey. Enjoy opening your box curated especially for you. And then even below that, there's a little bit more. We are so excited for you to open your fun beach love box in the month of love. Love, love your mermaid sisters. So I love any like handwritten note. I think that is such a special touch. I know it's something that the bigger boxes can't do. And that's why I really love to find these smaller subscription companies and support them and then inside let's see what else we've got we've got like a little card telling us about the theme for the month which is beach love February is the month of love isn't that what you feel when you are strolling down the beach and find a heart-shaped stone enjoy this beautiful book heart stones by Josie Islin so this is actually like a product sheet and it tells us all about the different things so I will kind of read up a little bit more about that as we go and even though Valentine's Day has passed if you haven't watched some of my other unboxings I am really enjoying like heart themed things so I still have this little heart necklace that I got from my anchor of hope box I got this black one that I got from my rocks box I've got these rainbow hearts that I also got from my rocks box so definitely check those videos out if you haven't already these are actually two separate necklaces that I was actually able to kind of put together using a magnetic clasp so maybe I'll put the link for that for you guys down below as well it's kind of fun to layer your necklaces and then inside it just says welcome to the life's away family our family loves the ocean and everything associated with it we've spent time on beaches around the world and we have shared our experiences with our family and friends many years ago we started an ocean-minded company named Life's a Wave, a name that embodies a lifestyle revolving around the ocean. Now it's time for us to share the wonderful lifestyle we've enjoyed from our experiences in and around the ocean. We are committed to working with nonprofit, ecological minded organizations throughout the year who support cleaning up and protecting the environment. We donate a portion of the proceeds of every box sold. So that is very awesome. I love any box that has a cause, especially an environmental one. I think that Life, Life's a Wave is located in Santa Barbara, which is a beautiful town. If you've ever had an opportunity to visit 
And then the next sheet says that is the Turtle Conservancy. That is who they are donating their proceeds to this time. So, or a portion of their proceeds. The mission of the Turtle Conservancy is dedicated to protecting threatened turtles and tortoises and their habitats worldwide. So I love turtles, especially green sea turtles or honu is what you call them in Hawaiian. And I think that is a fantastic, a fantastic um, cause to be supporting. So I feel good about that. And then next we've got a little bit more information about looks like there's some massage and bath stones in here so again I'll read about that a little bit more we've got a cute little uh, sticker so you could put that on something fun and then inside it just tells us that our packaging is also eco-friendly so I love all of that now the next thing that I'm seeing is we're getting into the good stuff now and I did notice in Hope's unboxings that there are often uh, cards with actual photographs so I'm wondering if one of the Life's a Wave folks is a photographer. I'm going to take the envelope and the card out of the plastic protector so that you can actually see this gorgeous image you guys. I love this. It's so beautiful. It's just like a natural heart kind of stuck in the sand with some fairy lights, but that's a beautiful image. Um, that's something you could actually like frame. And if you've never noticed, you can actually see all of the pictures that are up behind me, but we consider this our California wall. Um, so the bedroom is actually where we keep all of my Hawaii kind of themed art. Um, but we definitely collect some different things from our travels up and down the coast of California and so it's kind of fun having that nice collection. Um, so that is a beautiful photograph that I would love to add to our wall one of these days. Um, maybe just swap out with different photos that we get. Now I have to show you guys how beautiful is this packaging and this is something that I've also noticed in Hope's unboxing. There's usually like a treat sprinkled in there as well as some like oceany kind of decor whether it's shells or I think Hope finally like got them to send her some sea glass once but let me see if I can show you these are really pretty like conical kind of pearlized shells and there's a whole bunch of them so I would love if this subscription or maybe another one gave us a beautiful like glass jar or container to keep all of these little treasures in so it is going to be a little bit tricky to pull everything out but the next thing that I am seeing is like this red stone that says laugh which is kind of funny you guys there was like a what they called a touchstone in our confetti collection box that also said laugh and I was kind of like I don't know what to do with this but this is a little bit heftier so it's not something you would just kind of keep in your pocket it's more like something that you could have on your desk as a little reminder or again it would be something nice you know they say not to give people um, empty boxes it's like bad luck so this would be a really cute thing to put in a gift box or like container if that was the gift itself all right so I'm gonna see if I can kind of move the foozles and all of the amazing um, Hershey's kisses out of the way I will definitely be getting into that I love February not just because of all the heart themed things there's been a lot of rose scented things too which I'm not super keen on but I love all of the chocolate that's been in all of our subscription boxes lately you guys all right so this is kind of fun I'm seeing some sort of Valentine's themed things I love a good hair accessory obviously so some really cute pink and red bobby pins and then some fun hair ties that actually look like you just tied a knot in your hair so I kind of like that sort of optical illusion but they are nice and stretchy so that's great let's see what it says about these um I don't even see anything about that so maybe that's just kind of oh when at the beach, a mermaid must have these styling red and pink hair ties and bobby pins to put in your hair. So um, I like to use bobby pins. This is kind of fun. They're like more like fashion bobby pins. So um, we'll see when we use them. And I actually really like these kind of hair ties. I know a lot of people are using the ones that are like phone cord looking ones and then scrunchies are back. But these are the ones that I would actually probably use if I was putting my hair up in a quick ponytail or a loose bun. All right. So then inside I see a little package with another little sticker that's cute and it feels heart shaped and it feels like a stone so that is probably I'm guessing it's the massage and bath stone that they were talking about. So this is gorgeous you guys it almost looks like a pink quartz or something so let me see if I can get that to show up it's kind of like the same color as my palms but it's nice and weighty it's not super smooth there's definitely some texture to it so it does say let's see what is this this cool heart-shaped massage stone you can heat up chill or have it at room temperature and it will feel so good when you rub it on your body these are from Santa Barbara's small business salt so maybe it's come like salt it's 
and it doesn't like smell like salt, but it's definitely firmer than like salt. You're not going to like rub it off on your body. Um, this is something that my husband would absolutely love. He's always asking me to like scratch his back or rub his shoulders. And we have all kinds of like different back rubbers and scratchers. So I'll probably put this out and actually not tell him what it is because I don't want him to get any ideas that I should be like giving him a back rub every single night. <laughs> all right, you guys, let's keep going. That's cute. I got definitely a good dose of my heart shaped things. So I'll have to see if I like feel okay keeping heart stuff out like year round. We'll see. So this is the book that uh, we got told about when I started reading off the card a little bit preemptively. So it's Josie Isselin Heartstone. So that's kind of fun. And I do like that. I mean, I know a lot of friends who will actually post all kinds of hearts that they find in nature on their Instagram. And I think that's really cool. Just a nice kind of like coffee table book to have. And I'll definitely pass through it. And it's like nice to have out on your counter or something for people to look in. And maybe just kind of heightens your awareness awareness to find those beautiful heart stones around and in your daily life and they don't have to be like omens or signs about anything but just a way to kind of brighten your day and feel good think about loved ones so that's kind of a cute thing I'm not like a huge fan of getting like books though in subscriptions because they're one of those things unless it's like a fiction or a you know a non-fiction book that you can read and then pass on but like the kind of coffee table books and like art books and stuff I feel like they're kind of like one use things, but I could definitely regift that if I have a chance to have it out in my house for a little while and then pass that on to someone else. So, but it's, it's usually not one of the kind of things, like if I was a custom customization issue, um, or opportunity then I probably wouldn't, um, choose a book. Little red twine tying this guy up. Let's see what this is super excited so so far some really fun things all heart themed for sure I'm interested to see I think I saw a spoiler for March and um, I just renewed so I know I'm definitely getting March's box and I think it's like I got some like greens and stuff to go for like St. Patrick's Day so this is fun definitely has a color scheme going through this box even though you always think of like blues and greens when you think about the ocean and the beach but we've got pinks and reds all together and then this beautiful gourmet Himalayan salt pink peppercorn and Himalayan salt blend so it's nice because it comes in one of those containers where it has the grinder in it so it's kind of frustrating to me sometimes when you get sent edible things or um, condiments but it's not the right container to actually go ahead and start using it because um, I don't have like a pepper mill or like a, just an empty salt mill that I could use for something like this so I'm very thankful that it's got that grinder on it let's see what it says about this where to go for the month of love enjoy this gourmet pink peppercorn and himalayan salt blend that will be a compliment to any dish but i do love a good salt i like salty foods a little bit and i've been meaning to start using my moroccan tagine so i need to start getting into that so let's see if we missed anything else i don't think so just let's go through it one more time so we got the beautiful heartstones book Oh, you know what? It says that there is a red abalone night light. So I'm not actually seeing that. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, there it is. I totally like brushed it aside with all of the foozles. It's like wrapped up right in here. <laughs> There's so many foozles and, and chocolates and everything. And I'm hoping that I didn't um, do anything too damaging to it. So that's why it's nice to have a product sheet. It drives me nuts when... Um, boxes don't have that product sheet. There are no retail values. I will say that about this box. So I do like a good uh, product sheet with retail values, especially when the box is a little bit pricier, but I so far like all the items in this one. So we'll forgive them. Um, this is gorgeous, you guys. So this is a very nice made in California abalone nightlight so you can see it's just got like kind of hints of pink it's not super duper pink and then it's nice because it's got this switch here on the bottom so it's not like you have to actually unplug it from the wall every time you want to turn it on and off i'm sure this is beautiful you guys i will try to take a picture of it in the evening when it's lit up and maybe put that on my instagram account so you can check that out um so that is beautiful i i'm glad it's not like super duper big i like that it's a little bit more vertical and i love abalone i think it is so pretty look at all the like iridescent color that's down there at the base so really lovely piece honestly I think this is like my favorite thing in the whole box and I know exactly where it's going to go as well 
So we got the book, we got this beautiful abalone night light. So that does bring a little bit of beachiness to your home. Then we got the pink peppercorn salt, which is actually something that I will use instead of some sort of obscure spice. And then we also got the fun hair ties and bobby pins. And then we got the massage stone, which just looks nice out. And then maybe I will be a good wife and give my hubby a little rub down one of these days. Or maybe he can give me a back rub using it and then we also got the um beautiful handmade card with that gorgeous image that i love so much and then all kinds of shells and chocolates to brighten our day now i will say to be honest it's like i think i'm just getting my value of 50 dollars. of course this first box was a little bit less because i got a nice discount um it's going to be hard for me to continue every single month when it does wind up being a little bit over 60 dollars. it's a nice subscription though because they do do spoilers where maybe i could do it like every other month um or maybe i would just do a long subscription to bring that price point down a little bit but I appreciate that they are contributing to environmental causes I appreciate like I said how personable they are online and I am still looking though you guys for a really really affordable beach box so let me know what you think let me know if you think this should be it and other than that if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you very very soon in my next unboxing